everybody, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title of today's video, it is very exciting today because we are starting back our studio vlogs here on this channel. So if you guys have been following me for a while now, back even when I was in high school, I had an Etsy shop and it was called Alyssa's Craft Corner and then I revamped it to Alyssa Nicole Designs back in 2019 when I still lived in my apartment and I sold stickers and bookmarks and I did a bunch of studio vlogs and you guys loved those. You always sold me out. I had such a great time uh, with Alyssa Nicole Designs when I first relaunched it and the only thing I didn't like was making stickers because my Cricut machine was like terrible and I took a break when I moved into this house. My other small business, Weeks and Witches, which is where I sell animal stuff, is doing really well and I was thinking of maybe selling all of these products on that website but I've kind of marketed that website mainly towards guinea pigs and animals so I just didn't want to mix too many things onto that website so I decided to revamp Alyssa Nicole Designs and and I have so many amazing ideas that I am going to make for this website. So I was going to revamp and just join back onto Etsy, but Etsy's fees have gone up ridiculously, like way too much, and I would just barely make a profit. So I decided to go ahead and make my own website. So uh, www.alyssanicoledesigns.com is now my website, and I am going to be selling my products on there. I'll put a link for it down below. You can sign up for texting, and you can also sign up for emails, and and if you sign up for either one of them, you do get 10% off your first order. I have been working nonstop on the website all day yesterday. I was building the website. I was setting up SMS. I was getting verifications for toll-free numbers. Like I am really, really trying to make this as professional as possible. I really want this to go far. I am really trying, like I really want this to work out. And I have so many great ideas. So I'm going to be selling stickers again. I'm going to be making my own art and putting them onto stickers, but I'm going to outsource the stickers instead of printing them all at home because my Cricut machine, I can never get it to work. I'm literally going to sell it in a yard sale like next week. And I just hate cutting stickers. So I'm gonna outsource those where a distributor will make them for me and then I'll ship them. I'm going to be making bookmarks again, but I'll be making the bookmarks at home myself. I am going to make tons of crocheted items. I'm planning on starting embroidery. I have a lot of ideas. And the main idea that I am going to do is something that I've been wanting to do for years and I've just been making ideas for it for a long time and it's finally starting to come true. And I will talk about that once I start making those because I want it to be kind of a surprise. Like I said, I've been working on the website, currently editing my iPod unboxing. That video should already be up, but I make my website with Shopify. My other website is on Shopify as well. I've made my logo on Procreate. I went to Vistaprint last night and I ordered a bunch of business cards and then I also went to stickerapp.com and I ordered a bunch of stickers to include in everybody's orders. I ordered all of that stuff. I already have tons of shipping supplies from my other little business that I have so I didn't need to buy too many things but there's still a couple things that I would like to buy but I'm just gonna wait until I finish making all the products before I buy all the shipping supplies. This is kind of a studio vlog slash like craft vlog so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys some projects that I've been doing. Hopefully this video isn't boring. Uh, I love watching videos like this. I am still recovering from my foot surgery two weeks ago. I get my stitches out on the 25th of April and then I have pins sticking out of my foot. They're like removable pins and the pins don't come out of my foot until the end of May. They come out May 25th so I still have pins in my foot for the next month. I can't go back to work until those pins come out because if I hit my foot even a little bit uh, the pins can jab in to my foot and it can get infected and it can be like just disgusting. So I have good days and bad days. Thank you to everybody who messaged me every single day and asked me how I'm doing. It's so sweet. Like I said, good days, bad days. Some days I have to take pain medication. Some days I don't, but I try not to use it as much as possible. And crocheting, diamond painting, embroidery, all of these crafts has really helped me um, these past couple of weeks and it's kind of grounded me a bit. So I'm going to show you guys the projects that I have been doing. I'm going to finish this project for myself and then I am going to start making the stuff for my first launch on Alyssa Nicole Design's new website. So first of all, this is what I am currently making. So I don't know what the heck that was. I've been wanting to make a like pouch purse for myself for a while. I've also wanna make some clothes for myself too, but I just haven't had the time to do it and now I do. So I'm almost done with it. I have finished the actual like bag part of it. And unfortunately, I kind of just eyeballed the design and I kind of like messed it up a bit. So I had to like sew the end together and it looks a little stupid, I don't know. But I have to finish the other side of the strap and then I'll be done with this bag. Um, well, the outside of the bag. 
And then I'm going to use this light pink yarn to crochet a pocket to go on the outside. And I'm going to line the pocket with this strawberry ribbon that I bought here. I'm going to line the entire inside of the purse with this fabric that I got from Amazon. I will try to remember to, actually I do have an Amazon storefront, which I'll link down below, which has all of the yarn and materials that I use in my crochet project. So if you guys are interested, I'll have that link down below. But I got a yard of this just beautiful cotton strawberry fabric and I'm going to be making a strawberry purse and I'm gonna try to make it like as professional looking as possible and I'm going to use it all the time because I've never handmade something for myself. I even bought a bunch of hardware so I can make keychains to hang from the side of the purse. So I have like purse hardware that I got. I also got magnetized buttons so I can close the purse with buttons. So this is the first project that I'm gonna be working on in this studio vlog. And um, I'm really hoping that I can finish it either today or tomorrow. But right now I'm going to finish editing my iPod video because I want to make sure that I can keep scheduling my videos to be uploaded. I have like three or four videos that I have already filmed. I also am going to be filming a video on me trying embroidery for the first time. That box over there has all of the embroidery supplies that I bought, so that video is going to be really fun. I also finally bought a tripod because my other tripod broke, so you guys are sitting on my brand new tripod. It's really nice. It also came with a phone like adapter so I can use my phone to film stuff for like TikTok and stuff so I'm really excited about that and I am just really excited to kind of start this new series again on my channel and um, I hope you guys enjoy it too when I told you guys on Instagram that I was starting studio vlogs again I got so many messages of people being so excited and I just love to see that so I am going to go ahead and edit and then I will film me crocheting Okay, it's later in the night, midnight right now. Actually, I didn't even realize it was midnight. And a couple hours ago, I finished like the base of the bag. So like I said, I messed up on the pattern when I was um, doing it originally. So I had to like cinch in the sides over here to make it like the right size. So this side is not cinched in and this one is, but what I was thinking about doing is like putting the hardware inside this little crease and then hanging some keychains from it to kind of distract from it a little bit. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this baby pink yarn here. This is just the Craft Smart yarn. This is like the Michaels brand yarn. It's like the cheapest one. I always usually use like 100% acrylic. I know using like cotton yarn is like way better, but it's way expensive. And I'm going to crochet a pocket to go on the front here that's about this big and then I'm gonna line the pocket with that strawberry ribbon. Eyeing it, I'm just going to make a bunch of double crochets. It, or maybe I should do, oh, maybe I should do like a bubble stitch or something. Then I'm gonna start working on the strawberries to attach to the front and then I'm gonna start working on the lining on the inside of the purse. Hey guys, it is the next day. I am downstairs. I spent the day live streaming me diamond painting on Twitch and now I took a shower and now I'm going to start working on my crochet project again. I'm gonna show you guys what I did last night. I stayed up till like four or five in the morning crocheting because I couldn't sleep. And then I also have some small business type packages here. So let's go ahead and open some stuff that I got for craft projects or for the shop. So this is kind of boring, but I just got a pack of plain paper printer paper for the printer to print out my like invoices that I include in everybody's package and just to print out like other random stuff. I am completely out of printer paper. I've literally been using like cardstock. So I definitely needed some more of this. Then I bought some plastic eyes for the project that I am going to start doing for my relaunch. So I just got a bunch of different size doll eyes. 
um, to see what size that I like the best and then I'll probably just buy that size only but it's just like a big set of them because I was running out of the ones that I already had. Next, this is a new storage unit for my diamond painting items. So as many of you guys know, I said it before, I am obsessed with diamond painting now. I It's my new fixation. I am obsessed with it. I wanted to get a better storage unit to hold all of my drills for my diamond painting. And um, there's this one organizing set that I really want. It's called like the Elizabeth Ward organizer, but it's like hella expensive. So I got these, but these look like they are very small. So I don't even know if these are gonna hold a lot of diamonds, which is kind of unfortunate. It does come with all of these. So if I have to use multiple containers for one color, I guess it's not too big of a deal considering how cheap this storage unit was. And then lastly, I bought a new paper cutter for my small businesses because I have another one and I could have just bought a new blade for it to put in this little part here. But I saw this pink one and I really want to get more like pink supplies for my small business just because it's cute. So I got this pink one instead and in the future I'll just buy more blades for it. But I got this to cut my, my bookmarks, cut business cards, cut pretty much anything. I love using these paper cutters. So that was my little supplies haul. Um, like I said, I'm not going to buy too much stuff until it gets closer to launch so I can figure out exactly what I need to buy, like box-wise and stuff. Okay, so here is the bag that I've been doing. I've already showed you multiple times. But then last night, I started making the pocket to put on the outside, and I used the bobble stitch to make the pocket. Here is the front of the bag. I have something inside of it. And I want to put this, like, in the front like this and obviously it needs to be bigger still and then put like a little button so the pocket stays closed and just use it as an additional pocket to put stuff in and i'm gonna line the top of it with that strawberry ribbon that i've showed you multiple times and then i'm gonna put strawberries all over the front so i'm gonna go ahead and finish making this pocket and then i'll show me doing everything else so it's a couple days later and this is the progress on the tote purse that I am making so I just need to finish covering the entire bag in these strawberries I need to add the lining on the inside and I need to add the buttons and I'll be done so here is what the pocket looks like I use the bubble stitch or bobble stitch whatever and then I put two strawberries on the front and I may put a button on the inside it's pretty sturdy though and then I added a bunch of strawberries which I'm gonna add the strawberries going all the way up the strap and also all along the back as well. I have stuff on the inside already. Last night I started my crochet pattern journal. I got this journal for Christmas from my grandma and I've been deciding on how to use it. So I figured the best way to use it is to use it as my pattern journal. So I write down all of just the patterns that I have made and done myself in here so I can have them all in a little journal instead of just like having it in my head. So I'm obsessed with this so far. I am very proud of myself. It actually matches the shirt that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a Converse shirt that I got with strawberries on it and it matches it perfectly. I wish I had like a cute like pink strawberry dress or something to take like cute photos with. Yeah, I'm gonna keep working on the strawberries and hopefully I will finish this purse by the end of the week. I am so tired of working on this. I just want it to be done. <laughs> All right, guys, I finished my bag and here it is. <laughs> oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. I know it's not perfect. Um, it's the first purse I have ever made. I've been crocheting like my entire life pretty much and I've never actually finished a full project like this. Like I've never finished blanket. Um, I've only finished like one or two pieces of clothing. Um, I've never fully finished anything because I always start projects and I never have the attention span to finish them, but I was 
hyper, hyper focused on this thing. I stayed up to like 3 in the morning every single night finishing it. And you know what? It's not perfect. I did hand sew the lining on the inside so it looks a little tacky, but I just didn't feel like using my sewing machine. It could have taken 10 minutes to use my sewing machine, but I didn't. I don't know why. I just didn't feel like it. So here is the lining on the inside of the purse. And like I said, I hand sewed everything in here. It looks awesome in my opinion. Like I think that this lining looks so good in here. It really brought everything together. I had a lot more strawberries on the front. Like I had one down here and right here, but I just felt like it was too much. So I took those away. I'm not completely done. I still need to add a button to keep this closed on the inside. And I also want to add some hardware to the sides and some keychains to hang down. I don't have time to make those right now. So here is the final result of the purse. And I want to take some cute pictures. I want to wear a cute pink outfit and I want to take some like professional looking photos with it. But for right now, here is what we have. So I'm super, super happy with it. I hope you guys like it too. I'm literally obsessed with it. Definitely going to be carrying it around everywhere. Let me show you guys kind of what it looks like on. I do have pants on, don't worry. Here is what it looks like. It's a really good size for even like a shopping bag. Like if you're going to the bookstore or the grocery store, like it's a perfect size for like shopping because it's almost like a tote but it can also just be used as like a normal bag as well. You could put it over your shoulder. It's literally like the perfect like satchel type bag. I like to wear bags that go over your shoulder like this. It's so much more comfortable. So I'm obsessed and I am just so proud of myself. I love it. So that is what I have accomplished that is not even related to my shop really, but I posted a TikTok on it. The TikTok is actually doing really well. I made a new TikTok for my new shop. I think it's Alyssa Nicole Designs on TikTok, but I'll put it down below if you guys want to follow me. I'm going to be posting all of my shop stuff on there. And then also to kind of show you guys some more art stuff too, I actually finished my very first diamond painting. Um, I've been posting about it on like Twitch and Instagram and stuff like that. I have a new obsession with diamond painting. And I also got this diamond painting log book here. I put some stickers on it. It was $5 on Amazon. Um, it's in my Amazon storefront that I'll link down below. I decorated the front of it and you basically just put all the information about your diamond painting. It asks like a bunch of questions, you rate it, and then you post a picture of it right here. I still need to print the picture out, so that's why I haven't put it there. But I cut out like the different colors that were used. I wrote down like what I did with it, and it's just like a really cool notebook. You can literally put like over 50, 100 diamond paintings in here. And for how cheap it was, like such a steal. It's pink, I think it's really cute. Definitely going to be using this. And it also matches my cute little like sticker pouch that I got from Timu. I'm in love. Spectra is being really cute on my chair right now. Look at her little toes sticking up in the air. I love her. Oh my gosh. So I don't know the next thing that I'm going to show you guys in this studio vlog. I want to start making stuff for my shop. So that's definitely going to be coming. Um, I want to make some bookmarks. I also am going to be filming a crochet tutorial. I want to do that today on how to make an AirPods case for my Patreon because I want to post like crochet tutorials on Patreon every month. I also want to start making book sleeves with some of the fabric that I have laying around because I love making Kindle and book sleeves. It's so fun. And there's just a lot of stuff that I want to do, but I don't know what I'm going to do next. So I'll keep you guys updated. second and I just finished packing some orders for my other shop, my Weeks and Witches shop. Weeksandwitches.com is my small business for animal items and I sell like pee pads for guinea pigs and stuff. I had seven orders to pack, large orders, like there's people that ordered like eight pee pads which is crazy. So I just finished packing um, two of the smaller orders and one of the bigger orders. I still have four more orders to pack. But I'm gonna take a break because I've been doing this for hours and I'm tired. I'm going to finish up all of the orders tomorrow. So the rest of the day today, first of all, I'm going to take a break and relax. 
and then I am going to start crocheting some more stuff for Alyssa Nicole Designs. So I actually got my business cards in the mail. So I don't even know if I showed them to you guys. So let's go ahead and go look at our business cards. Oh my God, guys, I just checked the mail again and my business stickers are here too. So I have my business cards and now my stickers. The next thing that I need to buy is just more packing supplies. Here are the business cards. I got these from Vistaprint. I got a hundred of them for like 20 bucks. Um, so I just used one of their, I was too lazy to make like a custom one like I did with my other one. So I just did like a basic design and I just added a list of cool designs on it, magical homemade items. And then the back of it says, thank you for your purchase. It has my contact email and it also has a QR code for my website and QR code for my Instagram. And it says tag us for a chance to be reshared because I will try to reshare everybody's orders on Instagram. And also I wanna have a little section on the website that shares photos from you guys' Instagram as well. There are the business cards. It'll last me a hundred orders. Now let's look at the stickers. I hope they look okay. Sometimes they're a hit or miss. I got my stickers from Sticker App. Um, I have gotten stickers from Sticker App and also Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule definitely has better quality stickers, but they're also very expensive. So I got them from Sticker App instead because it's not too much of a quality difference, but if you have a little bit more money as a small business, you can use Sticker Mule or any other website. This is just the ones that I've used. Yeah, for example, they made the green in the sticker very dark. I mean, it still looks nice, but my logo is actually a lot of a brighter green, but I did forget that I got glossy. My other stickers for my other small business are matte and these are glossy. So I'm, it's okay that it's a little bit darker. It, it doesn't look bad. Sometimes it's like a hit or miss with these websites because they kind of change the coloring and the quality, but the quality looks good. The printing looks clear. Maybe next time I'll just try to lighten it up more when I send it to them. But I got 50, I think, or 25 stickers for like $26 or something, which is pretty expensive for stickers, but I'm going to include these in orders over like 25 bucks or something like that. I like including stickers for people. It makes them want to spend more and it also just makes them, you know, share your designs and stuff more because people can ask like where that sticker is from and stuff like that. So yeah, business cards and stickers are ready for my relaunch and I'm super excited. Hey guys, so it is May 3rd and I just finished making this AirPods case. So I kind of just made the pattern myself and I was recording a tutorial to post on my Patreon for it, but then I realized I wasn't a huge fan of the way that it opens. I just don't feel like it's very secure because this slides off. So I need to figure out a way to make it where it opens easier and also where this like stays secure on the top. It's not that big of a deal to have to like push it back on like that, but I want to make sure to make a tutorial that's like super efficient and it doesn't annoy people when they fully make the thing and then it doesn't like open correctly. So I'm gonna figure out a different way to make that work out better, but I just made it for myself and the back of it's not like completely neat, but it's the first time ever making this and I'm really happy with it. So this is my little mushroom AirPod Pro case that I made and it didn't take super long. It took about an hour to make really cute. I really would like to make other designs as well, but like I said, I need to redo the design a little bit to try to figure out how to make it look better. I hope you guys like this little design. I have been crocheting so many things. I don't know if I showed these bookmarks already. I've been filming this vlog for so long, but this is definitely going to be one of the products that I will be selling on my first relaunch of my shop. So these are cherry blossom bookmarks here. I'm going to make sure to make them all the same size because these are two different sizes, but um, here's what they look like at the top and then down here. So I tried a couple different designs and I like this design the most. It's the most like sturdy. I think these are really cute. So I'm going to be making tons of bookmarks, not just cherry blossom ones. I want to make like mushroom bookmarks, uh, rainbow bookmarks, butterfly bookmarks. I have so many different ideas and I will be making more throughout the next couple of weeks and selling these for about $5 each on the website. Plus shipping, of course. I'll probably make shipping like three bucks because it's pretty small so I can put it in a like really small like envelope. So shipping shouldn't be too expensive on that. I wanna look into making more like AirPods cases and book sleeves and stuff like that. Tonight, I'm actually gonna start a project on using pixel grids to make a Kindle case for my Kindle. And if that comes out well, then I'm going to make many pixel 
crocheted cases for Kindles because I know a lot of you guys that watch me also love to read and you guys also have Kindles so I'm going to try to make stuff for iPads and Kindles and stuff too and I still need to look into doing my big idea that I have been looking into doing but I think for my first launch I'm going to focus more on like little accessories and then if my first launch does well, then I'll start using that money to work on this really big project that I want to do where I create these really cool items that I'm not even going to talk about yet because I don't want to spoil it, but I have a really good idea and it's just going to take a lot of money and a lot of yarn to do it. So I think I'm going to do a bunch of little launches to save up money to get the products for the big launch. Yeah, these are the items that I've made plus the purse that I have downstairs that I got a purse organizer for. And I'm just really proud of all that I have made the past couple of weeks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this studio vlog here because I think I've been filming it for a while. I don't know if you guys were too interested in this. I know I didn't show like a lot of studio type stuff and more of me just crafting, but that comes along with the studio vlogs. It's me doing a lot of crochet and art and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this, please let me know down below. I will definitely be making more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my Patreon down below. I post early access content, behind the scenes pictures of projects that I'm making. You'll get early access to my shop when it finally opens, crochet tutorials, a lot of fun stuff is over on there, and I also have my Instagram and everything down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!